So 2023 is a big year for Liverpool and it's a big year for Liverpool City Council as well with a change of leadership and some big budget decisions to be made and that's what we're here to talk about today and I'm joined by Councillor Liam Robinson. Liam, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. So just for people who are watching who might not know who you are, can you just explain what your role is in the Council? Yeah, of course. I'm the, the Cabinet Member for Finance at the City Council. So effectively, I'm the politician that leads on the budget and how the Council spends all of its money and resources. So there's potentially people watching who might not understand about the budget or certainly the complexities and the ins and outs of it but this is something that affects every single one of us living in the city isn't it so it's important? Oh absolutely because effectively the budget for the City Council is all about how we pay for and then deliver all of the services right across the city everything from emptying the bins and sweeping the streets through to social services and looking after those people that have got care packages all the way through to some of the big events that we host as a city. Now we've had some questions sent in for you via social media so let's get into some of those. So the first question, I'm concerned about proposals to charge for on-street parking in the city centre after 6pm and this person is worried that's going to have a detrimental effect on the hospitality sector. Obviously we're reviewing on-street parking charges for the first time in over 25 years actually and that's really Really important because of the way that parking has changed over those decades, particularly in the way that the nighttime economy and the hospitality economy in the city has grown. But we are taking on board all of the consultation responses that people are bringing back to us before we then kind of finalise those decisions around what we might choose to do. So next question, has the council considered the creation of charitable trust status for its leisure centres and libraries? We've done a lot over many years to protect those services, but particularly when we look at the budget cuts we are facing because of national budget cuts that we face, we know that we may well have to review the way that we do those. So looking at, for example, a charitable trust model that's been done in other councils, sometimes successfully, sometimes less successfully, might be one of those things that we've got to investigate in order to keep on delivering those services well into the future. So the next question we've had in, you're asking for our views, but given the size of the savings needed, will anything really change? So what we're trying to do is to make sure in setting a budget that we're protecting our most vulnerable citizens, particularly protecting some of the key frontline services that so many of our residents depend upon. But it's really, really difficult when we've got a government that quite frankly is cutting Liverpool harder than any other local authority in the country. The, the key thing from our perspective is to try to kind of mitigate those changes as much as we can. And our final question that we've got from social media is, could you not save money by having fewer mayors? Uh, well, obviously we're moving away from the directly elected uh, executive mayor, that position is going, um, and that will give us a modest saving. We'll still be retaining the ceremonial Lord Mayor, but actually kind of that isn't a great cost to us. And as for the metro morality, which is a city region level, that's not something we directly uh, have the decision over and is funded in a completely different way. So thank you very much to everybody who did get in touch via social media. And I guess just to wrap this up, Liam, what is your vision for Liverpool for the next 12 months? Really looking forward to the opportunities of Eurovision. Yeah, when you think about it being the next opportunity for Liverpool to be back on that global stage, but using that opportunity as well, not only to keep us on that global stage, but to attract more jobs and investment in the years ahead. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. And just one final thing, could you let everybody know where they can find out more about the budget? The best place to go always is the council's website, which is www.liverpool.gov.uk. Brilliant, thanks so much. Pleasure, thank you.